Sam. Today, we are here with a Pokemon Showdown Live that we haven't had in forever. But I am not. I am with my boy Trev. Say hello, Trev. Hello, I am Trev. The, uh, the Draft League and Pokemon Lord has made an appearance on the channel today. Today, we are going to be playing in the NU tier. Last time in the series, we were doing a series where we alternate tiers and uh, upload to their respective channels. But we are, uh, we are uh, continuing on that journey into the uh, NU tier. And today, we're using NU uh, Sun. And it's a pretty cool team. Uh, I built most of it. Trev added a later edition that we'll get to at the end, a little explanation here. But backstory is this was attention, intended to be a PU team, but they banned all the good Sun Sweepers to end you. So we're going to do end you. So as you see right there, we got some threats. We got some support Pokemon leading off the team. We got a nice live bar here with Eat Rock. Um, sunny Day U turn, Thunder Wave on court. Basically, Sunny Day is set up said Sun. U turn for Momentum. Thunder Wave to slow down some faster threats. Just everybody gets outsped by fast things like Scarf Haunter, so you kind of need that. And Encore to uh, stop some set of sweepers. Eevee's pretty basic. Uh, Life Heart outspeeds both the tier, and most of our moves are Prankster anyway. So we don't really have to worry about that. And then maximizing bulk with split between physical and special defense. Uh, next we have Mr. Executor, Life War, Modest, Chlorophyll with Solar Beam Psychic. Sludge Bomb and Sleep Day. Uh, Solar Beam is pretty much the move we'll click most of the time. Psychic for a secondary stab. And then Sludge Bomb for some extra coverage on opposing grass types that they look at. Uh, Manual Sunny Day is actually pretty important to the team because rain setters like Luke Polo and uh, Electrode kind of, we outspeed, we, they're, out, they're outspeeding us outside of rain and we can set up the uh, sun and beat them that way. Uh, Eevee is pretty basic. We hit around 400 speed with the speed investment inside the sun, and then just a little bit of an HP to max it to get as much bulk as possible. Now, the next threat Trev can talk about, because he actually improved this All right. original team. Yeah, so this originally was a Scarf to Solar Power uh, Charmeleon, but this team really lost to like SD, uh, Shiftery, and just uh, also. Um, Life Orb Scun Tank, or just Scun Tank in general, actually. So I decided to add a bulky, or kind of, no, well, kind of bulky, because it does have the Violet and it does have a little bit in defense. Combuskin, just to kind of help at least take some Sucker Punches and some Dark Type. It also helps with Dark Type attacks, because we only had one Dark Type resist on the entire team prior to this, which was Life Hard, which even if it is invested defensively, it's not the greatest Dark Type check. Um,. But yeah, that's basically that. It it just protects sword stance two attacks. You know, dual stab, fire punch in the sun does a lot at plus two. Moving on, we got uh, life or victory bell here. Victory bell is really good. Solar beam, sludge bomb, and weather ball. Now, before we get that combustion that Trev just talked about, the really only fire move we had on a sun team was weather ball from uh, victory bell. But, yeah, weather ball is pretty nice. It'll go scyther, uh, stops King clean flame from doing shit. Uh, Pretty much any neutral thing dies to it. It'll come as we in the sun. So, uh, other than that, growth is kind of there to break down fatter teams. I don't think it that often, but it's there if we need it. And then I believe the two more. So, the next one is our secondary sunset or a heat rock sturdy uh, pro pass with sunny day, full switch, stealth rock, and thunder wave. Pretty much the same deal with light part as getting up the sun and paralyzing faster threats. We have Bolt Switch for momentum, and then we have Stealth Rocks just to break down some flying with the teams. Like a lot of teams like to carry sight through, swallow, things like that. Uh, max HP, max defense with a little bit in speed death. Uh, for this tier, Pro Pass is really fun and bulky, so it can take a lot of different hits. And then we have Sturdy to guarantee at least a Thunder Wave or a uh, Sunny Day, like I mentioned. Last Pokemon, we get a quarter for Sawsbuck here. Um, before we added the. Combustion. It was really only physical threat we had on this team. Uh, Swords against frustration, horn reach, and jump, horn leech, and jump kick. Jump kick at plus two actually has a good chance of knocking down most variants of little tank. And horn leech for recovery. And then frustration was a really good return, but then I remembered that Ditto was a was allowed in NU, so I had to change that. Uh, Add on max attack and some nice bulk, and then a little bit of speed. But yeah, that is the team. A uh, really fun team. We've done quite a few test games with it. So if you want to go ahead and get the first game trip, uh, 
All right. Do that. All right. Also, I will be recording for Stab today because his internet is still not back. So that's why you see Scab, Stab in the Skype thing right here that I'm shaking around currently. No just, hunter, no hunter, no hunter, no hunter. We're going to run into, we're going to, dude, we're going to get like at least four games. So we're, we're going to run into Haunter somewhere. Every team is going to have Haunter. Hariyama too. Hariyama is kind of a problem. Okay. Also, uh, we okay. Got, we got, we got Hariyama, stunted growth brother. And then we got Weezing. And we got Shift Tree. Good uh, thing we, uh. Good thing we. That, uh, yeah, honestly, if we can weaken Reggie Rock a little bit, we can. Um, the uh, weaken the throw and weaken the wheezing and have sun up. We kind of just win with combuskin. Actually, no aqua jet, yeah. aqua jet from kaput tops. So it. Well, we can live. Yeah, but also, like I don't know if we can live. Also, exec executor wins too if you get rid of if you get rid of shit tree. Yeah, um, I feel like just getting up rocks here. Um, he does lead off with throw. That's okay though, cause. Honestly, if he's guts, he's guts. I just want to paralyze it. Um, ooh, power up punch. That's scary. Um, I think the rocks are better in this matchup than the sun so far. Um, so I'm going to get my rocks. He goes for circle throw. KOs. I'm just going to go straight into Executor and fire off a psychic. Oh, it didn't kill. Oh, we uh, It doesn't matter because he parried. And Sludge Bomb will kill from here, and it will ensure that he cannot sh sh safely switch in the ship free. So that is good. Uh, yep. Kills. I mean, ship tree comes in, ship tree comes in now, but they don't want yeah. pursuits. Yeah. Honestly, I kind of, I kind of feel like Sludge Bombing because he might set. Oh no, he just goes straight into Myth Magius. That is okay because now we will just go into Light Hard. Directly into Light Hard. He goes for a Shadow Ball. I'm just going to click T-Wave. Just in case he's Scarfed. Because that kind of looks like Scarfed. Yeah, that's not a 2 hit KO. And you can get up the you can get up the sun afterwards. Mm -hmm. Plus, you guarantee that if he wants to go to... Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to set up the sun. Because sun is good. He goes for Will-O-Wisp. Uh, I'm going to encore him into that, and then I'm going to U-turn out of here. Cause why not? I think we're kind of the raid where uh, Combustion might be able to win. Yeah. I'm just going to set up this. Yeah. Encore ended. I'm just. I'm gonna set up an RSD because I'm pretty sure in the sun. Yeah. Okay. Sludge waves does a lot, but I should be able to kill. And I should be able to live in Aqua Jet as well. Um, oh shit! I didn't kill. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, actually, this is kind of scary because. I not even have Aqua Jet. Yeah, but I think I might be in range of Sucker Punch from Shifri, so. Um, what I'm gonna do. Either way, just I'm gonna sky uppercut either way. Yeah, I die. Okay, I'm gonna go into life hard and set up the sun. Hopefully, he's not like speedy Kabutops. Oh shit, he is. But it doesn't matter. With our defensive investment, we're able to live. Um, and then we can just go into Saw's Buck and SD Shifters and not Shifters. Uh. Kabutops can't usually touch those, right? Well, I mean, Sonetch will do a lot, but as long as he doesn't crit, or he's got Rock Slide, okay, that's okay. And he we can heal. Rock slide, we win. Yeah. I mean. And now we just Horn Leech. Yeah, that does actually, that's not even Leftovers Recovery. Or that's right at Leftovers Recovery, and we can Oko the rest of his team, I believe. I think we can Oko. Uh, at plus two, I believe it almost Oko's Red Rock. Hmm. Okay, but, he goes. Okay, he went to this first, so that's fine. He might be scarfed, will o wisp which would really suck. But oh. nope, either he's not scarfed or he just is not run enough speed on his scarf uh, on. Okay, we win. He, well, he needed at least three. 
beat me five bridges and to have a chance to kill you with stone edge. So he needed to go to shoot you. Yeah. All right. Well, that was the first battle. I'll go ahead and click uh, find battle, and then you can battle this next time. All right. Yeah. Oh, geez. Shiftry and Zard. That's kind of scary. But he also has Vivalon, so. Okay. So we need to stop Vivalon. I think they like to leave with Vivalon, and they like to leave with Zatu. Yeah, I think leave we can. With Zatu. Yeah. Um, this is tough. Um, I guess, honestly, just leave Probopass, because I don't think Vivalon normally can touch Probopass. He can't put us to sleep, but that's not that bad. Okay, he does lead off with the Roros. So I, honestly, I think T wave, T wave. Yeah. Because he. Really T wave first. Then oh wave. shit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's pro. I say I say volt switch. I say directly volt switch. That's what I was gonna do. Yeah. That's not does a lot. He's life force. He's okay. offensive, which means. Which means go into. Light part. Yeah. And set up the sun. I set up the sun. Yeah. Because. Actually, now that we know he's offensive, I think Victory Bell wins. Yeah. Okay. He wants to see in the lead. Now it's just you turn out. Uh, you turn out into Probo Pass. Okay, no, you have to be. He's faster than us, which is. Uh, no, okay, don't go into probe. Go into, uh. Obviously. Go we into. We can win now. Saw's book. We need rocks up, though, first, before we can win. Actually, it's good that we're paralyzed, because now he can't put our probo pass to sleep, so just read uh, frustration here. This is actually really good. He might keep this around. No, he didn't. Okay, so now we can just get up rocks whenever we want to. Okay, he goes in the Zard. I, I say we have to... I, I say frustration. Can we just... I think we just get damage off on this. Yeah. That does a yeah, ton. Because it'll, it'll do a lot. He's like... He's, the, wisp. he's some... Weird... Okay. I say go Shred... No I, I say go into Probo Pass. I don't think Earthquake can kill it. I don't think he would even be Earthquake, but... Just try to get up rocks. Okay, Fire Blast in the sun does a ton, but we get a Brox. Fire Blast doesn't kill. Uh, Volt Switch out, because if he misses. Hopefully he's not, like, weird defog. Okay, he's not. Um, we just go into Victory Bell and click Sludge Bomb. That's what our fight is. Hmm. Okay, we have to go. We have to go to the gym. Psychic door and we have to bomb because no psychic 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 with executor yeah that, oh geez executor is strong okay the main issue is we lost our son mm -hmm. but now that Charles is gone oh he just lets us set up our son again okay that's really kind of him Oh shit! Unless he's fast, shit. Well, he got rid of the rock. Okay, we psychic here. Okay, that kills. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna sucker punch you to the shit tree. Yeah. What I was saying though is, now that his has gone. I'd say go directly yeah. into um, victory bell. No, wait, he's chlorophyll. He's just going to knock off. Fuck. Damn it. Um, just sludge bomb. I forgot. I always forget Shiftry gets chlorophyll. Alright, um, just go into Combuskin and, uh, Fire Punch. Yeah, we can live ahead, so. He sashed his tree. Alright, just. Fire punch again. Actually, shit. I think we lose the Vivalon unless we don't, unless unless we get a burn on fire punch, or he misses a hurricane somehow. <sighs> With 
Could be okay. Oh, uh, uh, just again. sky uppercut. Or wait. Do we live ahead from this? We have to beat it. Yeah. Or he's not sad. Well, that would be something. Well, the fact that he's protected, though. Okay. Do we think that Sky Uppercut Oh, okay, it this? Yeah, it's times four super effective or adamant max attack. Oh, he sashed this, too. What the actual fuck? Oh, we live. Never mind. Okay. Okay. The fact that he's sashed Aurora's and sashed uh, freaking Shiftry leads me to believe that he's probably sashed Vivalon as well. In fact, he was... He probably was sashed... Fire punches here in case he's a madman. Yeah. He probably is also sash Charizard and sash Hitmonchan. It honestly wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Alright, now okay. we just fire punch. I got, an, I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. No, no, the no. The only recipe is we can break the sash. We yeah. break the sash with fire punch. We sack the saws book. And then... It depends on if he quiver dances or... No, he, he's going to hurricane. Yep, he sash burn, 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 burn. Damn it, we lose. Unless Sawsbuck can live a hurricane. We gotta go to Sawsbuck and hope we can live a hurricane. We have HP investment. A lot. And Vivalent's not the strongest thing in the world. And he wasn't life for Please. He's not boosted. Please. Sawsbuck somehow. No, we lose. Because ah! he just bug buzz his executor. But we can try, just in case maybe he's, like, not Bug Buzz. You know what we probably should have done? What? We probably should have risked the, t the Hurricane Mist, gone to Executor first, and try to set up the sun. Yeah, I guess. Or or maybe what we could have done is gone and sack Saw's book against the thing and try to go for a sunny day uh, against Aurora. But, oh, well, it's, hindsight's 2020. It's tough. Vivalon, Sash Vivalon kind of fucks this team over once pro up. Any critters. <laughs> Yeah, just rub the moon. That kind of sucked, but uh, yeah. Right. I'll get a battle, and then you can get. Oh, hopefully, there's not a. Okay, there's an Archeops. That's scary. And if, geez, flying types really. F no, I'm, Archeops is stronger, but Telprin's harder to beat for this team. Yeah. Uh, Archeops actually just dies to Solar Beam. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get up my rocks because he has he has two possible bulky defaults. Bulky Mesprit, bulky Mesprit is kind of a. Plus, you potentially force him to go a Pelper to defog so that he doesn't waste yeah. his uh, bird. If we can weaken Pelper, I think we can win with uh, Combuskin. Oh shit! He switched right into Pelper. Yes! Ha! Oh my god. Ask, asketh, and you shall receiveth. The trend of luck, Lord. Alright, uh, I don't see how Victory Bell does, doesn't beat his entire team right now. Yeah, Victory Bell. Victory Bell, well... He does have Mesprit, which I was is... Gonna, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, if it's offensive Mesprit, he'll die. But, oh, he just lets us set up a growth. What is, what is this? Okay, now we just... Before he gets done. Now we just solar beam the f fuck out of him. This should kill. <laughs> nope, I underestimated the power of Cradley. Don't get the boost. Okay. Didn't really matter if he got the he boost. Didn't get the boost. Didn't Problem really... Is now we don't have enough life for our pits to win. Yeah. Oh shit! He's going to just. Um, hey, what if he's? What if he's? Yeah. What if he's just shard of box? All right. I don't. Oh shit! He probably had speeds. He probably does, but I don't think he kills. No, he's life. Speeds one. Probo pass. He probably does have earthquake. So what I'm gonna do is go into light part. He does have earthquake. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to. Encore him into said earthquake. Okay, he just switched it out. Um, I'm going to Sunny Day. Sack off this life hard. As he. Oh shit, he's just. I see what he's going to do. He's going to go right back in the bottom, so I set up set hail, and then we're going to die. 
Fuck. Pads. Actually, no, 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 no. Okay. Doesn't combustion still work? Yeah, because we just set up a source sense because we should be able to live any hit. Or no, he just switches out because in fear. Actually, if he's scarfed, he outspeeds us. But he. Okay, here's what you. No, fire yeah, punch. We... Fire punch should kill. Or, or crit. Either one works. I think Combust yeah, can just... If we're at plus two, we should outspeed him. And plus, he'll take hail damage, so I think that puts him in range of plus two fire punch. Well, we'll never know, because we actually crit him. Okay, I think you're behind, Stab. I think you're going to have to skip turns again. Fire Punch kills Miss Magius, and then Sky Uppercut should Oko the Archaeops, and he just forfeits. Man, Combuskin, the god. Combuskin, definitely us worthy. Uh, yeah. All right, you want to, okay, I'll this battle. Yeah, grab this last game for it's, you. It's searching. I hope it doesn't give us two games, because I'm searching too. I, I didn't click search, so... Let's see here. Um, Metric is kind of an issue. But other than that, we should be able to win with literally anything. <laughs> as long as he doesn't get Malamar into. Uh... Yeah. I ran into a Malamar. It wasn't that big of an issue because. Uh... I've seen no reason to. I just lead off with Probo Pass, to be honest. Just get a Brox. He has no spinner, and rocks are nice. He's just going to close com combat us, but that's okay. Give us some nice rocks. Yeah. Or get potential sash on the Zangoose. Yeah. Oh, shit. He fake outs. Okay. Now we have to go directly into... Fuck. Damn it. He's this set. Ugh. We can never... Okay. We have to go directly into Executor. And hope he doesn't click knockoff. No, he didn't. Okay. He didn't click... Right. Okay, now we set up a sunny day. Well, actually, we actually we should be able to knock him out. For no, he might go in and straight into Malamar. Go for sunny day. If he stays in, then he stays in. But if not, then if he goes in the Malamar, then we don't have sun and we have to switch out. Yeah, and solar Ream will either kill or do a lot. So yeah. Okay, he did stay in. Stay just knock. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, I say I say go into victory bell and uh, click growth. Because if he stays in, he shouldn't be able to kill us with any one hit. Okay. Yep. And Weather Ball should Weezing, kill. Weather Ball. Weezing 100% dies because it. Weezing dies to neutral Weather Ball. Gone. Only problem is we don't necessarily have enough sun turns, but he only has two things that are faster than this outside of sun. Okay. Oh, he's gonna freak out here. Yeah. We should kill. Gonna... I'm just going to click Solar Ream. Yeah. We know he's going to fake out. Yeah. And then there's no reason not to click Solar Ream again. Yeah. So. Hopefully, I don't know, if this is Solvest, it might take it, but we'll never find out. He sacks off his Gastrodon. Yep. Gastrodon 100% dies. Yep. Oh, I see, I see what he's doing. Yeah, he's probably going to go to the Zangoose right here if he's smart. Oh, shit, I forgot that Executor was the one who set up the sun. Yeah, well, yeah, I... Well, I knew that, but I was like... Alright, he might go to Zangos. No, he goes in this. We just sludge bomb this. Even if he scarfed, then we sack it off and go into... Okay, he scarfed. In the Psycho Cut, which allows us to set up the... Uh, <laughs> which allows us to set up the... Uh... Sunny day. Plus, we get a huge hit off him on U-turn if he stays in. So. Mm -hmm. If he, for some reason, he's not scarfed. And just his, like, max speed, I guess. If he goes to Zangus, I'm clicking T-Wave. Well, if he goes to Zangus, he'll get his, uh, boost up. Alright, I say go straight into, um... We can actually sack off Pro Pass. Yeah. He goes for Fake Out. Okay, we're gonna go for Rocks, just in case for some reason he doesn't decide to kill us. And now we're going to go into Combuskin and click SD. We have to click SD because I think he's going to try to switch out. Because he's probably predict. Yeah. So. 
SD. SD is to play. We should be able to live a close combat anyway. And we can just protect on his fake outs if he tries to come in and uh, do those shenanigans. Do that thing where he stalls us on. Malamar will die. We should live. Yeah, we live. All right. And we don't die to bullet punch. So now we just click sky uppercut. Sky uppercut, please. Okay. The only problem is I do not think plus two sky uppercut kills this Hariyama. Uh, so oh, just we're, protect we're, here. We're, we're about to find out. Pro, no, for protecting here. Obviously, I'm okay. No, go for fire punch. I don't think he's thick. I think he might be guts. I say we go for fire punch. Most of these, and then and then you do uh, carry the thick there, but we're gonna try it. Okay, he probably mm, that probably was thick fat. No, that was a hundred percent thick fat. That's okay though, because what we do is we go into Sawsbuck and we kill with uh, return. Issue is gonna be or frustration. This should kill, right? This should kill. I think. Yeah. Okay. Now we just. <sighs> the issue is gonna be what that move he goes mm -hmm. for with his miniature. I think he's gonna go into Malamar. Yeah, he's just gonna go to the Malamar. I click the superpower. Yeah. We should be able to take a superpower. Yeah, I think we have to pray for a crit, though. So we go into Lipard and pray for some sort of crit. Uh, on the, will die. the problem is Lipard will die. No, I think Lipard can live a Scarf superpower. It's Remember, we have good defensive investment, so... Oh, yeah. The and plus, we can't... I forgot I changed the set. Yeah, I mean, we it's our only play anyway. Actually, what we could do is we could go for T-Wave and, like, pray for Paris. Yeah, we're going to do that. So switch into Lipard. Hope that he doesn't crit, or hope that Lipard defends. Hope that he's stupid and clicks Psycho Drive. Yeah, I don't think he would click Psycho. There's really no reason for him to click through, but not to click. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're on the ladder trip. You never know. Yeah, and we're not that high, too, so. <laughs> oh, he might just time out. was too much for him. <laughs> Dude, what if we just get this timeout victory? I'll take it. How long are we at? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. 20, yeah, so this will be the last battle, no matter what happens. Yeah. It'll be nice to end off on a win, but it looks like unless he, uh, unless he just times out. Oh, geez. I wonder if his showdown did the thing that my showdown sometimes does on my other computer where showdown completely crashes. He's still there. He's still there. Like a minute. Yeah, but a minute doesn't last long if you're trying to get back in. Dude, I think he might have... I think his showdown <laughs> might have crashed. Because I think if his, like... If somebody called him the, them to... Or him slash her to help them, like, I think he would have clicked his move before them. So, before then. So, um... I think we win. Unless he's just trying to be a dick and uh, just, uh, you know, getting our hopes I up. Know. I've seen that before where they, where they like, stalled on the time and then they don't click the move in time, so they still time up. Dude, I think we won. Dude, we, lo we won a game that we should have lost. That's actually... We, guys, we 100% should have lost. <laughs> yeah. All right, well... I think that's good stab. Well, so. I mean, when you know your plan, when you know your when you know that your plan is to click uh, is to click T wave and hope for the pair, you you pretty much lost. Yeah. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and check out Trev's channel. Go ahead and leave a like and a comment if you so desire. And I will be back eventually with more Pokemon's. And yeah, have a great day. Bye, guys.